start with saying that the actual health risk of accidental exposure to the environmental tobacco must be appreciated in light of the overall level of background public risks. Um, it is arbitrary to hold smoking to a significantly higher level, higher level standard than we hold other types of pollution or hazards to the public environment health. Many diseases, including lung cancer, coronary diseases, have m multiple factorial causation with genetic components, environment pollution, and lifestyle choices playing more or less important causal ro roles. Smoking ban advocates need to definitely establish that with ac that accidental exposure, especially with no factual or statistical data. Also, um, to touch on the litter again, um, BOCA has already have already has these laws in place that you're not supposed to smoke on the beach, but there's no enforcement, and that's where the problem lies. You can have <coughs> all kinds of laws saying what you want to ban, what you want to accomplish, but without enforcement, nothing is going to happen. <coughs> nothing is going to be solved. So, that's it. Sorry that the book is not re, re, uh, is not enforcing it, but if it goes to the state, it will enforce it, and then it will happen. We have to see a progress. We have to start from somewhere to go somewhere to a biggest high. So, my friends, secondhand smoking <coughs> cigarette butts are one of the major th threats to both human and wildlife. It affects our health, our environments, as you hear. As you heard, a lot of research and studies have, have done yeah, and showed that people have been affected by the uh, secondhand smoke or by some animals have been affected by the uh, cigarette butts. The, I will give you some facts and points uh, to just wrap it up. A recent study by Stanford University found that the distance to mitigate exposure to outdoor secondhand smoke is 12 feet for a single smoker and 20 to 50 feet for several smokers. The study also found that with many smokers pollution could many smokers pollution could build to levels that are detectable up to a hundred feet away. Imagine if you are taking your child to a beach to have a nice and fun day then your child will cope different lung, lung cancer or any different kind of uh, health issues. And the other, uh, the other research with, uh, I read, in 2006, the American Association of Poison Control Center received over 7,000 reports of toxin exposure due to inge ingestions of tobacco products among children. We believe that smokers have every right to smoke in outdoor unless it is interfering with the rights of non-smokers. We heard that they say, what about our rights? What about others' rights? Thousands and thousands of children and adults, what about those rights? And this is why there are smoking bans to protect non-smokers from the forced experience or a smoker's cigarette smoke, cigarette odor, or left behind cigarette butts. It's our responsibility to keep our ocean, our beach, and, and our ocean to clean and to make it clean and healthy so we all can enjoy it. That's why the affirmative is committed to stand for the freer and enjoyable life by prohibiting smoking on all public beaches in Florida. This is why we should vote for affirmatives. Thank you very much for coming. And thank you for the judges and the audience. Thank you, everybody. Let's applaud the debaters for all their hard work. It was a wonderful debate. It was a wonderful debate, and I want to applaud all of you for coming and being so watching and so attentive. Thank you very much to everybody in the audience. At this time, we would like to ask you to use your clicker to either to click in your your choice for either affirmative or negative. While opinions, we all everybody has their opinion. We would like to make sure that you 
go for who had the most effective case, not for what you've already believed, but who had the most effective case bringing this up here. And while our judges make the decisions, um, yeah, do that while the judges make their decisions, please. Is everybody just in? One person, and it was a tough go. debate. It was good. good. Oh. Oh, we had more people. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for your. Okay. And now, you know the thing. <laughs> so while our judges tabulate their final opinions, their final decisions, and while we would um, discover the results of your vote, I just want to give a quick little for something that has been excellent for Christina, myself, and one of our debaters. On class in the spring, there is offered a debate class by our professor, Lori Crane, who is serving as one of our judges today. It is an amazing class. If you are enrolled at Palm Beach State and you have any interest, if you enjoyed this debate, if you enjoyed any of the concepts of it, I highly encourage you to take it. It was a very educational experience and was part of the foundation for why we ended up feeling comfortable to have this debate. So Professor Crane is one of our judges, and she is available. If you have any questions about the debate class, or Christina, or myself. So. What's the number? Oh, the debate class number, Professor Crane, is it SPC 2511? That is the debate class, and it is well worth your time to look it up if you're enrolled here at Palm Beach State. All right, with that, we have some follow-up questions for you before we reveal the results. So, I want to the results. So, while we're waiting on the judges' decisions, we have some follow-up questions for you. First, did you change your initial opinion when you came in here with what you initially voted when we first asked you, should smoking be banned on beaches, did you switch after hearing the facts presented? Thank you very much. Christina is going to click over for us. Actually, wait, we can show that result, right? Yeah, we're going to show you the results this time. Yes. Oh, look, most of you did not change your opinion. Well, we could just, we don't know exactly what that entails, but it's interesting to know. We'll know in comparison. Now, what was the most persuasive element of the affirmative's case? These four individuals over here, what was the most persuasive element about their case? Sources of information, and you guys can know this. It's good for you to know. All right, and Christina, we'll, we'll save this so you can write those down for the peace. Thank you. Next question What was the most persuasive element of the negatives case? Now that I know there's 39 of you, I'm not. Until we have 39. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so both. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, 40! <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> You're killing me, Ramal. You're killing me. All right, so as a general impression, so possibly an overall stronger case. We don't know. We're going to find out. We have another question. Now, would you be interested in attending another debate? That's a very simple question. It's just. And this one can be based on your opinion. Don't you like that? <laughs> now I'm waiting for 40 of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's just messing with me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone's just messing with me. All right. <laughs> so just for us oh to my know. Goodness. Yay! I'm actually very excited about that. Yes, All right. So now, we have our results. The results are in. I do not know the results. I'm waiting on Christina to bring me the results. So we're gonna find out. So the result of whether the resolution, 
the state of Florida should prohibit smoking on all public beaches was found in favor of the affirmative. <laughs> now once again, excellent job to all of our debaters who give them a round of applause. And I'm going to welcome up Christina to take care of some final business that we have. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for okay. We would like to first thank the judges for your time and dedication to our scholarly endeavor. <laughs> and your professional and educated opinion and your time today. We would Delta Omicron would like to present you with this certificate of appreciation. You guys can all we come. For all of you. If you want to come up here, do you want to? We can give them. Yeah, we can give them too. <laughs> they look, they're really pretty. They look like this with your name on it. Okay. And you also all get a nice bite at a cap of T-shirt and a nice Delta Omicron pen. Yeah. And we would like to congratulate both members or both teams for opening your minds and your schedules and for making the effort to be both a leader and a scholar for Fight Data Kappa. Delta Omicron presents you each team with a certificate of appreciation. Oh, it's a certificate of congratulations. Oh <laughs> and actually, I want you guys to all shake hands because it was a fantastic debate. Maybe if we could figure that out here. Nice. <laughs> with the other teams. <laughs> Yeah, but get it. Hold on. Good job, sir. Okay, and you also get t shirts and five theta kappa pens. Find your size. Wow. <laughs> okay. And thank you for everyone for attending the debate. We hope you all had a scholarly afternoon. If you're interested in learning more about five theta kappa, please see me. Mr. Millis in the back, or Faith, or any of the other officers you saw here today. And otherwise, the debate is adjourned. Have a great day. Thank you.